welcome back. Now we're starting back here in this uh, new big cave, this big tunnel that we built a couple of episodes ago, because I have built a little bamboo farm. Well, I say little, I suppose it's kind of a bamboo farm, I don't think there's anything little about it. It's just a room, it is maximum height bamboo growth, and it's um, just, just doing that. I will just manually harvest it, I don't need to build one of those, um, you know, the redstone flying machines that knocks them down. I'll just do it manually, it only takes about three or four minutes. But I think there might be an issue with the light levels because you can see these kind of gloomy patches on the floor and it coincides with where things aren't growing so I probably need to put some torches down in there. I'm also not sure if that's why they're not getting much taller because they've been at this height for quite a while now so I don't know if the light level up there affects them as much as the light level down here does so I might just have to spam the walls with torches which is a shame but yeah. I'm not sure when the next update is coming out and we're going to get all the bamboo blocks but I'm just wanting to make sure I've got a good supply ahead of time I'll come back and check on this a couple of times a week and mow it down and it should be absolutely fine I think even as as this is now if I was to harvest all this this is probably about four or five stacks so it's it doesn't take much to add up and as you can see it cuts through from here into my cocoa bean farm so Considering how many cocoa beans I've got here and how many I've already got in storage, I might take this out and convert it into something else and decorate it because obviously it's just a, a square room, well a square tunnel. So I might take this out and convert it into a dripstone farm. I would also like to have um, another lava farm back. I do occasionally find myself wanting lava. I think I will harvest what I've got here, I will put some more torches down and we'll see what we get. It is very satisfying to harvest. I always use an axe, I don't know if um, there's a better tool for it, if it's one of those things that benefits from the hoe. Is it the sword? Ah, the sword might be it. I knew there was something else. Oh yeah, sword's the way to go. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt to navigate, but it's not too bad. And the walls are still full of zombies, because when are they not? Yeah, that came to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight and a bit stacks for it to be. I'm going to say a third grown, because most of this hasn't grown out the floor yet. Where's the middle? It's seven wide, isn't it? So you, out. Torch. Um, I think I'll pop one up there as well. I will see if that grows any better. I don't know if light level is affecting it. I have a very rough approximate knowledge of how things work in Minecraft, but I've never actually done half of this stuff before. I'm just figuring it out as I go. That was from a previous effort. Yeah, it's not going to take long to add up. I think I only left that yesterday for about 30 minutes as well, so... To get eight stacks out of 30 to maybe 45 minutes of growth seems pretty good. Anyway, we'll leave that for now. We'll go do something else. I think I need to go... Actually, I might just get rid of that while I'm here. Now that I've said get rid of it, I kind of want to just get it out of the way. Gone. There we are. At the moment, that's just a tunnel. But it gives me plenty of room to spread out. That keeps taking me by surprise now. Whenever I run through here, I'm not used to there being something out there, so it spooks me. Peekaboo. Anyway, what I think I'm going to do first is I'm going to go through to the nether roof, I'm going to go to that mangrove that I found before, because I still have the coordinates for it, and I'm going to set up a portal to it so that I can go and harvest mud, because I'm going to need so much mud for these roads. Whilst I would like some of the structural work, some of the buildings and the, the foundations of the, the raised areas in the town to be stone, I don't want it to be stone floors as well, I think it would just be too much. Too much stone, too much stone brick. It'd be nice to bring in some mud, a bit of warmth, a bit of colour, and continue it because we've had it as a theme all the way through. But yeah, we set up this nether roof, let's make use of it and uh, get a load of mud. I think I'll try and get at least one shulker box worth. I might try and get two. Then when we come back, I'll make a start on the bridge and some of the landscaping around here. Hello. Fantastic. So where are the coordinates? Checking my actual physical journal. 3,600 on the X and minus 2,100. That's about 450 by minus 260. It's easy enough to find my portal as well because it's um pretty much at zero. So I don't really have to mark it or find my way back. Oof. So minus 260-ish on the Z and about 450. Oh, let's give it a shot. And are we going to end up in a mangrove? Or are we going to end up underground? It's quite often kicked me out into weird places. Oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. 
Unfortunately, it's the middle of the night. Empty pocket bed. This isn't the same spot, but this is certainly the um, the same one because it's absolutely massive. Anything interesting out here? I still need to find a jungle. I want to get some parrots. And I think if this is the same mangrove, which it should be because it was the same coordinates, that um, there was a jungle next to it. Just got to find it. I might not do a lot of filming here just because it's so chunky. I don't know if anybody else has this problem. Yeah, as, as you can see, I have a problem with mangroves in that it absolutely chugs my recordings. I have no idea why. I had this trouble last time. It's why there was so little footage <laughs> recording in the mangroves. So this is me on render distance 10 and it is still having trouble. Yeah, it doesn't actually display in game as being really slow. It actually looks fine in game. It is ever so slightly dropped frame rate, ever so slightly, but it is for some reason, my recording absolutely will not tolerate the mangroves. I will just have to keep recording to a minimum. I'll try a time lapse since all I'm doing is gathering dirt. The fact that there's so many layers of mud is very pleasant. How far down does it go? About four. Cool. Really? Even here? Okay, welcome back to my PowerPoint. So I've got three full shulkers, a little bit extra, and I need to go because my pickaxe is about to die. Does this portal go back to the nether roof? Yes, it does. Excellent. And immediately my frame rate is back to normal. Fantastic. I wonder if it's um, if it's entities, if it's things like the vines and the little hangy propagules. Now, which way's home? That way. Okay, I'm just going to do that so that I can remember that it's a diagonal. Yeah, there we are. I am still hoping to decorate this uh, this episode, so I actually might make like a signpost where I write the coordinates of the portals for wherever I set them up. I can't wait for the um, the hanging bamboo signs. They're going to be so lovely. And time to decant. I did also get a ton of the muddy mangrove while I was there because I probably end up using it at some point. And saves me making it. Well, so that only took 20 minutes to get three full chulker boxes full of um, mud. I know you can make mud farms, but you still have to feed them in with dirt, which means you've still got to harvest dirt, so it's a similar amount of work, I would say. And I use dirt so much in my builds that it's just going to be a pain in the butt to keep on top of all my dirt needs. I mean, that um, that build last week took, I think, 30 stacks to kind of tidy up the, um, the base. Ridiculous. Ah, back to the spiders to fix my shovel. There we are, shovel all repaired. Now, this seems to be working a little better in that the shadowy patches have now started growing, so that was definitely a problem there. But it's the same, it's the same few bits that are going tall while the rest of them are staying short, so it maybe is a light level thing. In which case I don't know how to light that up anymore because it kind of looks like they're all on the same level, light-wise. But for some reason these two keep taking off and I don't quite understand why. That one's got a torch there. Is that one in line with those torches? Sort of, yeah. It's in line with that one. So I don't really know how to uh, alter that because if I start hanging stuff down, if I start hanging lanterns down, that's going to affect the growth range anyway because they can't grow into the lanterns. It would certainly get them taller though. Hmm. I might just have to do some research on that one. And now, time to go build that bridge, I think. So the bridge is going to go directly through here, completely straight line. This lines up with the gatehouse. There. So it wants to line up all the way through, so it's going to be about here somewhere. I'm going to raise this bank a little bit and just fill that in. Because we've got a natural embankment there and a natural embankment there. I'm going to leave it quite natural, I think. I'm not going to make it really um, cliff-like. But these, these are very sharp edges. I'm going to leave that side a bit softer. This bit will probably be a, a reinforced cliff edge design. But I'll leave these bits for now. Don't need to tinker with that if I'm not going to be using that area yet. And I also want to just tidy up some of this river because obviously that would be a bit of an obstruction. I will shore up these walls with the, the wood, like I mentioned before, so that it matches the big wall over there. And I will run the path through, probably all the way to the end where it drops off there. And then I will do the gardens that I mentioned last week. Add some decoration, put some walls around, make it nice and pretty. Then I think we'll finish off the day by decorating that nether portal a bit more. Because that's that's literally a five minute job. That'll be kind of fun to just tidy up at the end. So, first things first, tidy up a little bit of this river. 
then decide where the bridge is going to go. Measure it out. I do have a plan for the bridge, but it is actually probably much bigger. The plan that I've got is much bigger than this bit of river needs, so I will have to revise it a little bit. If anything, it makes it easier. Coming back to this today, I also realised that I put it in the wrong place, really. When I had it measured out, I had the, the maximum width and the maximum depth. I kind of forgot that the maximum depth, i show you in the cross section here, that obviously it goes out that way, but not that way. So the middle point is actually like here, but I put it as here so that it matched under the portal. doesn't particularly matter, I quite like the position that it came out in, but I did intend for it to be further back. But that was maybe a serendipitous little accident because now, with this bridge going in here, I'm probably going to have to move the bridge into, well, some of the bridge design into this space a little bit. So it's probably for the best that this ended up a little bit further forwards than it was meant to be. Anyway, enough rambling, I need to dig up this river. I've just fixed this shovel, time to ruin it. I've widened the river a little bit, I've shaved a bit off that side and I've pulled this in a little bit. It's maybe a little too much but I'm going to be putting bridge foundations here so that's alright. Now I need to map out where the bridge is going to go. So I need to find the middle of the river and that's roughly where the drawbridge bit is going to go because this is going to be a drawbridge. Oh, the middle. Six, seven, eight. So it's 40 wide. Easy enough to figure out. Yeah, that's technically correct for the middle, but that is way too far over, isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Perfect. That is now the middle. Yes. That makes more sense for where the drawbridge would be. Okay, it's a clumsy, blocky starting point. I think I'll go get the stuff to build the bridge, and then I'll build the embankment around it, and then we'll do the paths. I think this is everything I need. I honestly can't think of anything else. So it's time to just build. I need to do the foundations first. There's like foundational pillars, so I need to get those in. And then it's just a case of stringing it up. It's not that difficult a design. It's quite simplistic. It's very much in keeping with the dock that we did over in the, the little dock area over there. It's a lot of spruce. It's always going to be a lot of spruce, at least in this settlement. When we come to do other settlements, we'll move on to other recurring themes, but here, it's spruce. Yes, time to just build. Here we are, little bridge done. I suppose it is actually quite little on the grand scheme of bridges. So this is where the uh, the bridge would split to lift up. You just have to pretend, because I would still like this to be accessible by foot. So I'm not going to build it lifted. I did consider it, but uh, considering I've said before, I want this world to be traversable by foot, then that includes the bridge. Uh oh, that one vine is off. I'm going to have to go get that. Anyway, as I said, it's just very sprucey. I quite like it. I really do like the colours of spruce, particularly with red wool and uh, stone. It just, it's so kind of cosy. And it's fairly simple from the side views as well. There's plenty of room under here for uh, ships to travel through and then it lifts as and when it needs to. I haven't done any decoration this side yet because I'm going to be putting the path in and then just leaving it at that for now. As and when I come to build on this side, I suppose if, because I might not. But if I do come to build on this side, I'll probably straighten this bit out and have the path just continue running through but it would be nice to have some bits branching off immediately. I just want to put a path in and have the path fade out so it doesn't look too abrupt. But first things first, I'm going to shore up these walls with some logs while I remember, because I keep forgetting to do that. It was one of the first things I meant to do this episode and I forgot all about it. And it's a quick five minute job. 
that it? No, nope, that's still more there. I'll have to get it from inside, I think. Yep, I think I'll just take it to one block over for now. Because I'm going to put some walls in here. Rather than having it just be a drop. Yeah, that looks more in keeping now. Doesn't look like a very circular block of stone. It actually looks like it was deliberately built. I'll just go get the stuff and I'll do the paths. If I'm going to be using mud, I'm going to need more wheat. Is this enough, do we think? And I've already got quite a lot, but I use it for so much. Bread for the villagers. Decoration as well, which is very important. Not to be overlooked. Feeding the animals. Oh. There we are. That should be everything I need to do the paths now, because I'm just going to do the path and then go back and get the stuff for the garden, so I'm not sitting around in 27 shulker boxes. Let's set up my base in here. This will be cute. So it's going to be a bit of a pain in the butt, because this is only one layer of dirt, so I'm just going to have to be careful I don't keep falling in. Which I will. I will keep falling in. That is a promise. Not actually that much to do. For some reason in my mind I thought this was quite a lot of path, but it really isn't. Oh well. Well, that really did not take long. I thought that was going to take longer than that. I don't know why, but it didn't. So, on to the gardens. I suppose I do need to put the little paths in first. I might actually just do that as I'm doing the gardens. I might just do it as one big thing. But yep, no, that's a big thing that was on my, my to-do list has been done very quickly, which is always very nice. And as is the way with Minecraft, I ended up with an egg in my inventory. No chicken. No, I don't think there was a chicken. Got a load of stuff ready to go. Got some fences and some wall stuff to make fences and walls with, strangely enough. And this is a load of decorative stuff that I'll be using for the gardens. I will probably need to go back for other stuff at some point because I'm very good at forgetting things. But this is the majority of what I need. Time to just get on with it, I think. gardens all done. Oh gosh, I need to get that, don't I? Ugh. Yes, gardens are all done. I was going to keep them quite um quite clean, but I can't help it. I need to have the I need to have the messy foliage. There's some raised beds and there's some designated planting areas where they've obviously gone with a theme. But other than that, it's still quite scruffy. It's not really meant to be tremendously accessible, you're just meant to admire it as you go past, but there are some gates. I'm not sure where these paths will go, they maybe won't go anywhere, but they're here. They're they're ready for if I need them. And what a lovely way to enter the city, really. Cross a bridge and there you are, lovely, lovely gardens. And I love the moon coming up behind that thing, because it looks quite ominous, because it kind of greys out against the dark sky. Sleepy time, then go get those vines. I maybe do need to make this portal more accessible. It is a little clumsy to get to. Smack. I just don't really think I'm going to use it often enough. Is 
that all of it? I think that's all of it this Oh, I see you. I see you. That's better. Got some bees doing some funky disco moves. I felt like this was a perfect place to put some bees. It also gives a nice energy. I might have to move that though. That's very... Oops. That is very close to the hive. I've never seen them get hurt on berries, but... Eh. Now... I'm going to decorate that top part of the tower. I'm going to finish that room and then we're going to decorate the inside of the portal as well. I've got a load of stuff in my inventory already. Signs. I wanted signs, didn't I? Because I was going to make... Oh, that's handy. I've got like 17 million of them already. Take some spruce. Does moss die in the nether? We shall find out. You know what? Let's put a hangy thing somewhere. What are they? A spore blossom. That's the one. Right, that'll do for now. It's a bit tight to do the replay mod in here, so I think we'll just record normally. Want some greenery, since it is coming down off the roof. Oh, oh yes, there's a trapdoor there, isn't it? Want it to look like the roots are going into the portal a bit. Obviously, I can't put them into the portal because then they'll break the portal, I assume. I'm also putting some nether things in here. Yeah, let's put that there. Oh, that's that. Yep, I keep forgetting about that trapdoor. I keep forgetting about that trapdoor. And again. Okay, it's made it super cramped, but it at least looks like the nether has exploded through this portal and kind of ruined it a bit. The roof up there is also a bit tattered, as if the, the portal has ruptured at some point. Now, bridge to the other side. First things first, moss, do you die? You seem alright. Read some of this out. If I'd thought about it beforehand, I would maybe have risen this platform to make it more grand, so that it looks like the main gateway, but... Doesn't really matter. I hear the ghasts whimpering away in the background, just very unpleasant. Ooh, it makes nice dark grass, I quite like that. I should have just brought more moss with me, I don't know why I didn't. I don't really know what I'm doing. I just wanted it to look very particularly not of the nether. And I think shoving an azalea tree up there is a good way of doing it. Yeah, I think I should have brought more stuff with me, never mind. I have still got leaves. Ooh, they go nice and brown. This is something. I don't love it, but it's something. I do have to admit, though, that I do love the sound of roots. That weird creaky noise they make, it's so good. Yeah, okay, that'll do for now for decoration. Except I want the sign, and then I can start putting in some of this extra foliage. You know what? I'm going to pillar up on the roots. It's so easy. Where's your overhang bit? Do you not have one? There it is. Thank you. Don't know how much of this I need to spawn proof, to be honest. I have a feeling that stuff doesn't spawn on the nether roof, and now that I've put blocks up here, stuff will spawn on the nether roof. I suppose I could just find out by flying away, but I might have to come in and carpet it as well. Okay. Oh, that's a nice rattly noise. Wow, nether noises sure are unpleasant, aren't they? Anything here? Did I go far enough? I would have thought I went far enough for something to spawn in. Okay, I'm gonna assume it's okay for now. So it ended up being about 400 by minus 260, I think. Might need to put some glow ink on that. If only I had an overwhelming abundance. I don't really know what that is, it's just some kind of like lantern. I need one more sign. What else did I want? Glow ink. I'll take a couple of stacks in case I end up really needing them. I'm going to leave some stuff in here so that it's easy if I want to add more signs. I really can't imagine I'm going to have more than 12 very distant locations, but you never know. Bloosh. I think that's correct. I'm pretty sure it is. I didn't really plan anything for here, so it's just a case of dumping a load of trees. Which has sort of worked, it's in keeping with what I do. Maybe not the most riveting though. Ah well, never mind, it's on the nether roof, we're just going to pass through it. It's not a great spectacle to be admired in the city. So this was, I think, everything I wanted to get done this episode. I am not sure what I'm going to do next week at all. I have one plan and I don't know that I'm set on it. I tend to kind of come up with ideas over the weekend. I'm thinking I might extend this out and have some kind of crossroad or square so as you, oops, as you come over the bridge, you've got your horse, your horse has had a long journey, you come into town, 
got a watering hole, a feeding trough, and then we've got like a square, and then we can have buildings around it and feel like a proper market square. Maybe there'll be some market stalls. The other option, if I feel like it, is that I might do the third gatehouse thingy over there. I could also maybe start work on the harbour around here. I might do that. We'll see. At the moment, now that I've said do the square, I quite like the idea of doing the square because then branch builds off that whenever I feel like it. I'm also a little fed up of just seeing that letterbox underneath. It'd be nice to uh, get that covered up. But that will be it for today. I think I will hopefully see you next time with whatever it is we decide we're doing. Thank you very much for joining me and bye bye for now.